Hello there. You're welcome to today's episode of Timely World with Tayo Ladejo. And the title of what we're going to be talking about today is Walking in the Spirit. As a matter of fact, it's going to be a new series and I believe you will enjoy it and the Spirit of God will minister greatly to you to bring impartation and transformation. And the title of today's message is Law of Spirit of Life in Christ Jesus. The Law of Spirit of Life in Christ Jesus. Walking in the Spirit. The Law of Spirit of Life in Christ Jesus. Turn your Bible with me to Romans chapter 8 or just carefully listen as I read. The Bible says there is therefore now no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus who do not walk after the flesh, but after the Spirit. For the law of the Spirit of life in Christ Jesus has made me free from the law of sin and death. For what the law could not do is that it was weak through the flesh. God did by sending his own Son in the likeness of sinful flesh. On account of sin, he condemned sin in the flesh. That the righteous requirement of the law might be fulfilled in us who do not walk after the flesh, but after the spirit. That's Romans chapter 8, verse 1 to 4. So walking in the spirit, very interesting uh, series and line of emphasis and, you know, the aspect of biblical study. You know, as children of God, walking in the Spirit is our process to growth and spiritual maturity. It is God's will that we mature in the Spirit, that we grow, we increase in capacity. And character formation is the evidence of spiritual maturity. God wants us to mature in wisdom and mature in character. So walking in the Spirit is the process to our spiritual growth and maturity. It's important that we note that. Now, when you read carefully this old portion of the Bible, you will realize that there are three laws that have been talked about in there. Also from Romans chapter 7, uh, that made it more elaborate. There is the law of Moses, or referred to, as the law of God is actually moral commandment that God introduced after the fall of man to restrain man's excesses as a result of the sin nature. Sin has now compromised man's, you know, uh, spiritual and body. Man was completely compromised by sin. So therefore, sin has become a nature. The law of God was to restrain excesses of sin. But much more than that, the law of God or the law of Moses or any form of other moral commandments was introduced in order to reveal sin to man, to educate man and enlighten man about what sin is. But unfortunately, it was not designed to empower man to overcome sin. Then it was now discovered in the research and, you know, spiritual experiment of Paul the Apostle that the reason why the law of God or the moral commandment couldn't help man and empower man to overcome sin was because there is another law that is present in man's soul. And that law is called the law of sin and death. Actually, it's operational over the spiritual and body of man. But for you, if you have accepted Christ Jesus as your Lord and Savior, the law of sin and death does not penetrate or does not work. It's not operational over your spirit. But it's still at work in our physical expression and our soul. And we need grace to overcome the impact of this law because every law activates a force. As a matter of fact, the word law is taken from the root word nomos. It does not mean regimented commandment. It means operational principle. Now, there's a third law, which is the law of spirit of life in Christ Jesus. 
is the operational principle of the kingdom by which we overcome the force of sin, by which the damage of the fall in our soul is gradually undone and broken by activating the law of spirit of life in Christ Jesus, the damage of the fall is reversed and our soul is now configured by the force of eternal life. I pray understanding comes upon you. I pray wisdom be administered to you and the Holy Spirit empower you to activate the force of eternal life, operate by the force of eternal life, by setting in motion the Lord's spirit of life in Christ Jesus. God bless you as you have a wonderful day.